In this video, I'm going to prove that the expected value for the binomial distribution is equal to NP for parameters N and P, where N is the number of trials and P is the probability of success. And I've written down the formula for the binomial theorem here just for reference. So starting off, the expected value is equal to K equal to zero all the way to N because K is just the number of values at, uh, that the random variable x can take on, and that can range from 0, 1, 2, 3, all the way to n. So it's in discrete steps. And then for every single possible value, we multiply it with the corresponding probability, p of k, which is just given by this formula. This is the definition of the binomial distribution. And so continuing with this, we want to evaluate this expression over here to derive the expected value. So I'm going to write the probability of having k successes in its full form, so nck p to the power of k, 1 minus p to the power of n minus k. Now first of all, I'm going to do some simplifications over here. You can see that for the first step in our summation, k equal to 0, this entire term is equal to 0 because we have k multiplied by a positive number. So we might as well write k is equal to 1. And then furthermore, I'm going to write this out in its full form. So instead of nck, we write n factorial divided by k factorial divided by n minus k factorial. And then you can see that for the k over here, this can actually merge with the k factorial over here as k minus 1 factorial. And then I'm also going to, instead of n factorial, I'm going to write this as n times n minus 1 factorial. And then for the p to the power of k over here, I'm going to write this as p multiplied by p to the power of k minus 1. And in a moment, you'll see why pulling out some of these terms will be useful. So just rewriting everything we we have over here in a neater way. We pulled out an n and a p, so let's just put this outside of the summation sign. So we have np, and then we have n minus 1 factorial, k minus 1 factorial, and then for n minus k factorial, let's rewrite this as n minus 1 minus k minus 1 factorial. You'll see that this actually doesn't change anything. The 2 minus 1 uh, both cancel each other out. This is just a slight rearrangement of terms, so it doesn't really matter. And this is what we have so far. And so continuing with our proof, let's say we have this NP over here outside the summation sign. And then now you can see that for our summation, we're starting at k is equal to 1. Now what I want to do is to define a new index term called i. i is going to be equal to k minus 1. And so you can see that if we define this term over here, instead of if we uh, use this index instead of k, uh, if k is equal to 1, then i is equal to 0. So instead of starting from k equal to 1, let's start from i is equal to 0. And then for the ending term, k is going to go all the way from 1 to n. And when k reaches n, i is going to be n minus 1. And then we can rewrite everything uh, according to this redefinition over here. So instead of using k, let's use i. So we have n minus 1 factorial. And then instead of k minus 1 factorial, we have i factorial. And then instead of n minus 1 minus k minus 1, we have n minus 1 minus i factorial. And then we have p to the power of k minus 1, which is just i. And then we have 1 minus p to the power of n. And actually, instead of n minus k, let's write this as n minus 1 minus k minus 1, similar to how we rewrote this uh, term here in the denominator. So we have n minus 1 minus i. And so this summation term over here, let's compare this with the binomial, uh, binomial theorem formula. So by comparing this, you can see that, let's just rewrite this here for convenience. So we have i equal to 1 all the way to n, n factorial, i factorial, n minus 1, uh, n minus i, factorial uh, x to the power of i and then y to the power of n minus i. So this is the binomial theorem formula. This is a formula for the binomial theorem and then you can compare this summation sign with everything that we have over here. And we, You can see that basically we have the same thing except this time instead of n we have an n minus 1. So actually plugging everything inside this formula instead of x plus y to the power of n we actually have the corresponding x is actually just p, and then y is actually just 1 minus p. 
and then instead of 2 to the power of n, we have n minus 1. So we have n minus 1. But then p plus 1 minus p, that's just equal to 1. So we have 1 to the power of n minus 1, and that's just equal to np. And so that's how we get the expected value for the binomial uh, distribution.